Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Review. Today I'm doing a wine, I'm doing a Riesling. I'm doing Kung Fu Girl Riesling uh, 2015 from Washington State. $8.99. Land to hand, vineyard to bottle. Um, see if there's anything cool on here. 12% ABV by volume. Like I said, $8.99. Um, so it's Washington State recently. Marketing Kung Fu Girl. You know anybody that's into uh, martial arts? I guess this would be a good gift. Let's see if it is any good. It's supposed to be a dry Riesling. Rieslings are sweet. Um, generally, there's dry ones. This is supposed to be a dry one. And once again, 12%, yeah. So a lot of them could be 9, 10%. So 12% means they ferment a little more sugar out of it. Uh, let's see. Uh, very nice fragrant grape, the Riesling. Very nice. Uh, if you like Riesling, try uh, Gewürztraminer. It's very similar, a little more spicy. I really like it. I like it better than Riesling. I've done a few videos on it. Uh, look for Gewürztraminer. Be in the German section with the Riesling. Anyway, we're doing Riesling today. We're doing Kung Fu Girl. There it is. Uh, you decide. What do you think? It's very pale, pale yellow, pale straw color. It's Riesling. Uh, I don't. You know, I don't want to get carried away or anything, but I can always tell Riesling. Blind, blind taste test. That's not that's not very hard. And this is definitely whole. If you're familiar with Riesling, this is dead on so far. Um, and Riesling, and it's not a fault unless it's overpowering, can a lot of times have a petrol or almost a plastic smell to it. I know that sounds bad, and it is, but it's not considered a fault. And sometimes it's even desirable in very small amount. Now, the colder it is, the less you'll taste or smell that. When it starts warming up, sometimes that comes out. I, I don't like that when that happens, and you gotta search far and near. This has that little bit of smell to it so far, but it also has the fragrance and the fruitiness uh, of the Riesling. A lot of floral smell, and just light fruits um, mixed in there. So, give her a taste. That's a little effervescence, a little a carbonation type. Um, I don't know if you can, some slight bubbles in there, really rare. I don't know if you can see them, but pleasant, refreshing, dry. It still has um, a fruitiness and a little bit of sweetness. It's not bone dry, but it's dry for a Riesling. It is, it is it's good. And then in that plastic rubber petrol smell that I have, well a lot of times too that'll burn off as it as it sits in glass and evaporates and as it decants. Um, so I'm gonna give it a smell here in a minute. I don't taste it. I just taste the appley pear floral dryness. It's got a little tang, it's got nice acidity. Great for um, well it's great for Asian food. It is or all recently is this is kung fu girl. So that, that's another thing. If you're serving a, a Asian meal it'd be cool to go with the theme and have Kung Fu Girl. Hey, you gotta play with this, right? The marketing there for a reason. Go along with it, play with it, have fun. So, not always a gift for anybody who might be into martial arts, um, but if you're having a uh, an Asian meal, Kung Fu Girl. Uh, and, and if you just like Riesling. Uh, if you've never had Riesling, would this be a good one to start with? You know, the Germans made it famous. Um, and this is what, what would I say? Washington, probably on par maybe with the German growing re region as far as uh, weather and parallel parallel it's on uh, yeah this is, this is one to try I always love to give Germans their due or not Germans their due anybody who kind of invented perfected something they're due 
the Germans really perfected and, and, and made, put this on the map. Um, this isn't a bad uh, representation of it. Uh, I did one, I had, a, I think it was a German shootout or something like that, where I did a bunch of them um, with my family. Pretty interesting to watch that. And I did it from all over the world. I did Germans, uh, Austrian, all kinds of stuff. Hungary. Uh, if you can find that video, it might be in a playlist. Check it out. Um, if you're interested in Riesling and Gewürztraminer, uh, very good. And if you just go and say I want a Gewürz, they'll know what you're talking about. If you just can't remember Gewürztraminer. Um, or just look on the shelf, you'll find it. It'll be in the German section, it'll be close to the Riesling. It's not popular, it's not as popular, but I'm telling you, Gewürztraminer is good. Very good. I like Riesling too. You know what Riesling is? Riesling's a sweet wine that has class. Let me explain. A lot of snobs that <laughs> wine snobs. If you drink a, a sweet wine, oh, sweet wine, I like dry. I like dry. Uh, but they can like Riesling. Now Riesling's sweet, but it's a serious whatever. Anyway. Alright, take that little rant for what it's worth. Very light. Not real thick on the mouth. A little sweetness up front. You get the fruits and everything, you swallow it. Just the slightest bitterness, maybe like uh, the rind of a, of a citrus fruit, and then it's over. So this would uh, this would accompany, um, yeah, this is a good sipper by itself, and it would accompany a nice Asian dish. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, I'm damn happy you're here. If you haven't subscribed your first time here, hit it, hit the bell. Okay, I do a lot of stuff on this channel. And you can look at the title if it's something you're interested in, you watch it. If it's not, you know, it's that simple, folks. Okay, you can learn a lot about coffees, teas, wines, liquors, and beers here. Even if you don't drink them, you might get them as gifts. You might host a party where you're going to serve some of these things. You may be bringing it to somebody's house because you've been invited over and you're going to be a good guest. And I do some very unique stuff here. I do some common stuff. And I do some unbelievably unique stuff and generally not expensive stuff. Every once in a while I will, but rarely. All right, this is stuff that everybody can get, especially for occasions. And you know, I'm not talking special occasions because it's so expensive. But sometimes it's more than you might use every day, a little, but still not crazy expensive. Uh, I rarely do crazy expensive, all right, because it's I do it sometimes. Uh, from Hubble Select Reviews, thank y'all.